Evening everybody. Right, I had a question about how you dismantle one of these uh, old 486 twin head laptops. So, hope everyone's paying attention. Here we go. First thing I've done is I've already whipped the battery out. There are three screws. Got one there, underneath the two corner feet, and you've got a tiny one hiding underneath that round one there. Pick the right screwdriver, Chris. Well done. After you've whipped those three out, flip it up upside down, open it up, two tiny ones on the front there, you might need a magnetic screwdriver for these because they're still quite recessed once they've uh, actually been undone. Anyway. Next stage, got to split the top from the bottom, so you can just just unclip it all the way around. Try not to lose that tiny screw. Uh, yeah, put the screen as far back as it will go, not quite 180 degrees. It should break the hinges. And there we go. Oh, actually, didn't need to put the screen back at all. I lied about that. And then you've got your full internals in there. So you've got your ribbon. You've got a laptop that's now broken. No, right. Ugh. Yeah, you got a hard drive. Uh, that's one of those Texas Dallas chips. That's uh, I say chip. It's supposed got a battery in the top, and that was my uh, CMOS battery replacement. In fact, nobody can actually see what's going on here because it's just too dark. So I'm going to just unplug these. So we can actually get some light in here. Whee, look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a CR2032, I think it is. It's just uh, soldered and tagged onto the legs in here. Um, what was that for? Oh, that was the battery charger. Uh, charging cable, so I've disconnected that. The battery's going to be knackered um, in this thing. Anyway, it's that, it's that old. Um, that's, it's not even risk putting the extra stress on the charger. You might as well just unplug it straight from the board. Um, and just run it from the straight from the charger instead. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty small and pretty simplistic. But uh, that's how you whip it apart. Uh, can't remember what size hard driver that is. Eh, who knows? It's something small. Anyway, right. That for now. Bye.